Hey folks, stereotypical video for you. I changed out my bedside computer back to the HP Elite Book A460P. But not just because I felt like changing it, because I actually found the solution to a problem I was having with this computer. This computer has the best layout for it being a, a right hand bedside computer. Mainly because the DVD drive is on the left side so I don't have to worry about hitting the button with my trackball. Over here is just some ports and a vent. That's the uh, CPU vent, actually. So, overall, this laptop has the best layout for the bedside computer. Also, all the cords come out of the side for the most part. None of them come out of the back, so it, it's, it tends to fit and has the best layout. Plus, it still has a keyboard light, thanks to it being an Elite Book. And, um... Yeah, I figured out some issues with this. It's still running Debian 8 Linux. Um, I'm not using the proprietary AMD driver anymore for the dedicated AMD graphics this thing has. Uh, I managed to get the open source drivers to work by installing firmware, I think it was firmware-linux-non-free. And that made it work properly in Debian, like out of the box. Now I don't need to use AMD's proprietary driver, it just works. At least so far. I've only had it this way for one night. So over the next couple of weeks, <clears throat> I'm going to see how this performs. And, you know, if it sucks, I'll just install the proprietary AMD drivers and be done with it. But I think these will be okay. Um, whenever I go on Second Life to hang out with people, the frame rate is fine. It's around 20, which is playable. It goes down in crowded areas, maybe 8.8 .8 frames per second or so. For gaming, that sucks, but for just walking around, that's fine. Um, and I also solved an issue with the wireless. In the past bedside computer videos, I've told you guys about having um, unstable Wi-Fi, basically. Where uh, I would put the, after a couple of weeks of putting the machine to sleep and waking it up again, um, it would fail to resolve DNS properly and stuff like that. It just wouldn't connect to the internet. Uh, and eventually, eventually it would just stop resolving DNS and connecting to the internet altogether. And um, I was chatting with Sansui 350A uh, about it, and it turns out that sleeping, putting the laptop to sleep on and off constantly in Linux, tends to make some of the networking utilities act up. Uh, Network Manager, I know, I've been told, uh, can get a bit temperamental with that. So what I have decided to do. I made the swamp partition on the SSD, uh, double the RAM and a little bit more, like 20, 22 gigs. And I installed a package that I can't remember the name of that allowed me to use the hibernate feature. So now instead of sleeping the machine, I put it on hibernate, which shuts the hardware off. And that, I'm also going to see how well that works over the next couple weeks, but I think that's going to solve the problem, because... When, I, when you sleep the machine, it doesn't comp turn the machine completely off, and I think that's what the deal is here. Um, just issues with suspend are a thing in Linux uh, as far as networking and stuff goes. That used to be a really big problem. I remember back in the mid to late 2000s, uh, I had issues with that. Uh, it's It mostly works now, except for like a few things here and there. Like... If you put the machine to sleep and wake it up in the same day, it's probably not going to have an issue. But over a course of weeks, when I'm putting this thing to sleep, waking it up again, after about after a certain a long amount of time, it'll start to screw up again. So I'm going to try hibernating and see if that fixes it. Uh, hopefully. So I'm testing. I'm sort of using this as a test bed right now because this is my preferred bedside computer, mostly because of the layout and because of the color. Uh, believe it or not, having this silver, uh, having the silver-bodied laptop, having black keys with white lettering is easier to see in the dark, um, and not necessarily the letters. I just need to see where the keys are, so that you know I can just go over and type stuff without having to really guess where my fingers are. And obviously, you know, you have the touch type markers on the keyboard, but I need a little bit of visual indication. Just so it's convenient, you know. And yeah, I'm testing this this out again. I think I finally found a formula that I like. 
um, for a bedside laptop. And that is to just, uh, and, and that is to have as much open source stuff as possible running so it's just part of the operating system and none of the proprietary um, drivers, which is kind of why I use the T430 anyway uh, for the Intel drivers and for the wireless card. But now that open source stuff is working really well on this machine, I can use the T430 for other things. That machine is a little too new to be a bedside computer anyway. So, it's much nicer having this back. I, I, I really like this as a bedside computer. And for those of you that can't remember what's in the 8460p, it's a Sandy Bridge uh, i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and on, on discrete AMD graphics, which don't get that hot, which luckily don't seem to get too hot. So, cool stuff. Um, I just thought I'd update you guys on this and let you know that I found some solutions to the problems I was having. Uh, by doing some, by finally doing some digging into it yesterday, uh, I I really wanted to know what was going on after my ThinkPad started doing the same networking stuff that this machine did. I thought it was specific to the wireless card, but no, it's it's just you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, suspend and wake up a Linux machine over a course of a few weeks. It will make the networking a little bit weird. So. I'm going to try hibernating and see what that does. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to have to shut the machine off every day. Hopefully I won't have to do that, but we'll see. Anyhow, that's an update on the bedside computer. Uh, I know it seems like I'm making the same video over and over again. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I just, I'm just i just excited that I found a solution to some of the problems I was having. So I just thought I'd let you guys know, just in case you know the same thing happens to any of you. So there you have it, folks. Uh, that is the machine, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.